Sul Sul, welcome to episode two of Rose in the City, generation four of Sim Sim Bloom. Rose is really enjoying living in the city. She's in the spice market and is having fun getting to know everything that's going on and meeting people. And shows she has been a social butterfly recently and is now has the new personality trait of outgoing. And she is going to be best friends with Leonardo Martinez. So Leonardo is over. He's doing some exercising because she did give him that apartment key and people still walk through her apartment, which is kind of strange. I'm not sure why. Um, and of course she is liking video gaming. That's important because that's part of her goal that she's going to have for the city living city native trait. So she's over at the rec center right now, but chatting with us and finding out about things that are going on. So can you tell me what's, I can tell you everything that's going on. Um, thanks so much. Um, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. If you're interested, um, I'm looking for something fun to do this weekend. I don't have to work. Any suggestions? Well, if I were you, I'd check the community board. I think there's a festival going on. So Rose is going to check the festival board and see what is happening. It is a romance festival, Saturday, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. near uh, Planet Honey Pop. So that sounds kind of fun. She can drink some Sakura tea, celebrate some flowers, and ask the romance guru a question. Now she is heading off to the, the train. There's a light rail that goes from Spice Market to the uh, Fashion District. And here she is taking off on the train. And she's enjoying watching the view through the window as she's pulling into the Fashion District. She had come here briefly, I think her first or second day here, just to see what it is. But she hadn't really explored as much. So here she goes in pulling into the station and getting ready to meet up with her friends. Rose is getting off the train and she's going down into the uh, station. There's a nice uh, board right there. She's going to take a look and see things that are going on and information about the fashion district. It's a little bit um, bare right now. I'm not going to lie, but I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that there aren't more Sims. There are a few spawning here and there, but it seems very empty. I think that was one of my disappointments was I love the buildings and all of the set dressing. It just feels like a major metropolitan area, but there are so few Sims walking around. It is kind of cool when you look off in the distance, you'll see these little uh, Sims down below, but which makes it feel busy. But right here where the Sims could be, there are very many. And there's Penny on her billboard. Um, and it is very pretty. That's Planet Honey Pop. That's where they're going to meet uh, before the festival happens. And it's just a really pretty world. If you look at the sand here in the rock garden, that is uh, used in Snowy Escape. So that's been around for quite a long time. It's just really pretty. Um, I love the aesthetic and the cars going by with the highways and everything. I just wish there were more Sims. Let's head on over to the karaoke bar where Rose is singing karaoke. She needs to work on leveling up her, ski her singing skills, so this should be good. She and Leonardo seem to be having a good time. They're getting along really well, and so far Rose is having a very enjoyable day. Uh, the karaoke bar doesn't have very many people in it. It's still early. It's a little before 5 o'clock, so I thought this would be a good time for them to be able to sing. She can practice level up some of her singing skill and not feel too embarrassed if she doesn't do that well but she seems to be enjoying it and seems to be doing really well so um that's pretty good that's so cute that's a cute little animation they certainly are having a good time aren't they she's she is enjoying herself that's to be sure <laughs> And here's another view. She's looking out over the city. She's just taken aback by, she's never been up at such big heights. Now she's trying the bubble blower. And I believe this is Lily Fang they're chatting with. So everybody's kind of getting some 
um, asking some questions about uh, politics and business in the city. Blo uh, Rose is getting an idea for her next blog, her um, next video that she's going to be putting up, and she's really having a great time. Unfortunately, um, the festival did not appear, so um, I have no idea what's going on, but there was no romance festival. And so Rose is now back at home and she is recording a fashion blog and she's trying on different outfits here. So um, I think she was inspired by Pe uh, hanging out with Penny and hanging out with the club and she's just going to be doing this fashion blog. One of the things she's thinking about is maybe getting her eyelashes done. She doesn't really have much for eyelashes, but she was talking with, Ro with uh, Penny I said there's a great salon and spa. So Rose will probably be trying to earn up, earn a little bit extra money to go get her eyelashes done and maybe get her nails done. And even though she's doing this fashion blog, that's kind of what she's thinking about is uh, having a nice spa day with her friends. So she's talking about the latest fashion trends. It is the end of summer. I know I said earlier it was fall, but this is the very end of summer. Here's a bathing suit and she keeps changing back into a regular outfit. I'm not sure why, but these are some, there's a sports outfit and she is working hard on leveling up this career. And that's kind of cute. There's her sleepwear back to her outfit and as soon as she gets this video recorded, she's going to go ahead and upload it and do some editing or do some editing first and then upload it. Um, so it's called Summer Capsule Wardrobe. Bring some color and style to your summer capsule wardrobe. Minimalist doesn't mean boring. And that's her, her video that she's going to edit, do some editing now. Uh, while she's editing, I'm just going to say I'm really disappointed about the festivals. I was looking at what could be the problem. I pulled out some mods, so hopefully she'll be able to uh, go to festivals and they're not broken because that's going to be hard to complete this aspiration if she can't go any festival, go to any festivals. Um, I am a little discouraged because I pulled out almost every single mod and a lot of my CC, as you can see. Um, and I'm still having issues, so um, hopefully things will be resolved. So she has upload, edited her video, uploaded it, and um, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, it's shorter because there was no festival, but we'll just do what we can. And I do hope that you enjoyed this. Please let me know how is your game doing if you're still playing. Have you done the City Native Aspiration? or this uh, influencer career and what was your experience. Anyway, until next time, I hope you have a simtastic day. Dag dag. Mm -hmm.